We have to try to be respectful. We can't take the whole sidewalk up. If we can, try to like squeeze in together a little bit. Sit. Nobody pass here. Get out over. Everybody move on over. We can't take up more than half the sidewalk. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. I'm Siobhan, and uh, my boyfriend suffers from anorexia, which means he has no want to eat. So I got him into smoking cannabis. He gained over 20 pounds, and he looks better than he's ever looked. It brought color back into him, and he just looks amazing. We had to quit for three months so we could get a job, so we could pass a urine test. Well, in that three months, he lost over 15 pounds because we couldn't smoke and he couldn't eat. I know how much better he feels when we smoke and when he can actually eat and he actually gains weight. That's what your government doesn't want you to know, that if you're really, really sick, you don't need to smoke it so much. You can for the stress and the anxiety of what you're going through, but you need to be eating marijuana if you're sick. That's just bottom line. And it wasn't a fun journey either. It's just like any other medicine. It's going to go in your body and it's going to start attacking what's wrong with you. But cannabis does cure cancer. We have thousands of testimonies across this country. You can go to YouTube. Put in cannabis and cancer. And that's why I'm here because it would be criminal of me to have gotten well and kept this to myself. I developed trigger finger which pretty much means your finger locks into place and you have to manually put it back into place. There I had a surgery which the scar tissue developed and wrapped around the nerve ending and causing me to have neuropathy. And via using the high CBD cannabis, it has taken my neuropathy away and healed all the neuro pathways within my hand and in my arm. Keep on fighting, please, because, I mean, you know, we all have families and we all love each other and we just really need to get the mother plant back into the eyes of everybody else as a realization. Uh, I had failed back surgery back in 2001, and two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with MS. Uh, got to the point to where the drugs cost me more money than my social security disability, and I, I had no option but to quit drugs. I had to feed my son, had to clothe him, and uh, just couldn't afford to do it with being a pharmaceutical. So I started uh, started using medical marijuana. Well, marijuana, it's not medically legal. A lot of people look down on you and will think that you're a bad person because you smoke marijuana, but it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It makes you happy. It brings life into your life. It brings color into every day. It makes you a bright, vibrant, happy, outgoing person. It makes you say hi to everybody you see. And everyone just is so happy and wonderful. I love it. I can go out, take my kids to the mall on Sundays when it's real packed. I mean, I I feel I get a a part back a part back to me, you know, like, and it's shitty because there's people that, you know, like they were saying, they they can't even tell you what industrial hemp is or anything like that. It's ignorance that is preventing other soldiers, previous soldiers like myself, coping with issues that weren't resolved pharmaceutically. Um, I can sleep at night. You know, who's that hurting? Yeah. It's not hurting a single person. But I've been self-medicating every day of my life since 1968, whenever possible. But I've survived. Y'all can survive. It's helped me. It's not hurt me. I'm happy normal because of it. The Obama Justice Department is raiding arresting and prosecuting citizens involved in supplying medical marijuana to people who need it in states where it is legal. Obama has also rejected citizens' petitions to legalize marijuana, as well as a citizens' petition asking simply that marijuana be reclassified from a class two drug like heroin, cocaine, or crystal meth,
to a less serious class two drug. Obama rejected both of these with the same tired, false arguments that we heard in the Bush administration before him. Not exactly the change that most folks were promised. We're spending billions of dollars arresting people, prosecuting people, and incarcerating people for a completely nonviolent crime. Those convicted are disproportionately poor and minorities. It is a travesty and a monumental waste of our federal tax dollars. And here's the truth. Prohibition hasn't worked. It hasn't stopped the use and production of marijuana. Indeed, marijuana is currently consumed by more than 25 million people annually in the United States. And cannabis is the largest cash crop. So clearly, prohibition, like the prohibition of alcohol, has failed. There's been much debate about marijuana being a quote-unquote gateway drug. That marijuana is addictive and leads to death. We know that none of these things are true. There are simply no studies indicating that marijuana is a gateway drug, and a recent report by the CDC has shown zero deaths related to marijuana. The same study attributes almost 440,000 deaths to smoking tobacco. I'm from uh, Colorado, and uh, Colorado is a different planet than we are here on the East Coast. We were lucky enough to get uh, medical marijuana passed for the state of Colorado. My mission here in Washington is to change the pot laws so that the uh, sick and the dying of the 35 states and the rest of America will have access to medical marijuana. Here in Washington, this is the only place that can do it. So. Thank you very much. So, so 13 years in DEA, and now it's kind of ironic that I'm standing here talking about legalization. But it's not really ironic because I was in DEA. It's ironic because we're in Washington, D.C. We're in the epicenter of the free world. We're surrounded by monuments to Washington and Jefferson and people that fought their whole lives to make this the freest country in the history of the world. And that hasn't happened. Today, the reality is, and we may not like to admit it, but the reality is that we're one of the least free countries in the world. We have the biggest percentage of our population in jail than any other country in the world. We're ahead of Iran, ahead of China, we're ahead of where the Soviet Union was. We've got 5% five, five of the world's population, and we've got 25% of its prisoners. The drug war has propped up an incredible police state that a lot of people don't see and a lot of people don't choose to see, but it's out there. We spend $26 billion a year on this drug war. But that's not including what the military and intelligence agencies spend. We spent about a trillion dollars over the last 40 years. We arrest a million people a year for, just for marijuana use. We have about 3,000 wiretap warrants signed every year. That's 3,000 times a year that the government can listen on your phone calls whenever they want to. So the drug war really is bigger than the drug war. The, the drug war is an erosion of our freedom. But here we are, a few years into his presidency, and nothing's changed. How can a candidate that was elected on the promise of hope and change and talking about reforming these policies sit by while his DOJ raids Oaksterdam University and puts Richard Lee in jail? There isn't a drug war. There's not a war on marijuana. There's not a war on heroin or on cocaine. It's a war on you. It's a war on individual people and their freedoms. And that's why, that's why the government, no matter who's in the White House, no matter who's in Congress, has decided that you're an enemy of the state because you're the one standing up and saying, no, this is my body and I'm going to do with it what I want to do with it. That's what's so dangerous. It's not that they think that marijuana is dangerous to you. It's not that they think that marijuana is dangerous to the people next to you. It's that marijuana is dangerous to them. I spent three years away from my family for cultivating back in the late 90s when I was a recreational user. And after that happened, I just quit smoking pot for nine years. It scared me so bad. 